hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create this kind of radial animated menu you can place this radial button anywhere in your project and when you will tap on this particular option it will navigate or you can perform various actions so without any delay let's get started so for this first of all you will have to install a package it is animated radial menu and one more thing i just want to let you know that it is available in pubdev obviously and yes i know it is quite old package it was published two years ago but if there is a requirement in your project something like this so you can achieve that so let's jump into the code so first of all this is my stateless widget and inside that i have created scaffold and the background this is the background color this one is the color and this is the app bar and this is the text and center title is true and this is the color of the app bar now let's move forward so inside body we all know that body is the property of scaffold so whatever we will do we will do inside body inside this we will take radial menu it is same from the package that we have installed and it will take children inside first of all i am aligning this particular button bottom center i will change this so that this particular button will move from left right top or wherever we want to move it we can move with the help of this alignment then it will take children and inside children i'll use radial button and this has got few properties like icon i'm choosing here icon dot browse gallery and button color for now i'm using this kind of color little bit of red and it has also got on press predefined function so what i will do i will navigate from this screen to target screen i'll create that particular screen also okay and what i will do i will put this particular icon inside this next screen so that when it will move to the next screen same icon will be visible so for next screen i have created here class it is also a stateless widget and it is it has a parameter icon data and it is a required property so you can pass data from one screen to another screen with the help of this for now i have taken here icon data you can pass string integer or any value from one screen to another screen inside this build there is a scaffold background and i will do some coding also for showing this icon data now let me run this and let me show the output till now so i have run the application when i will tap on this there is only one widget available inside this children that is why it is showing one so what i will do i will just copy paste some more radial button inside this children however i will put the code on github and will share the link with you you can check the code and you can use the code in your project and you can make changes according to your requirement so for person for contact and one more i think
okay so what i will do and here shopping cart okay let me run this now here it is coming uh there are quite gaps available so what i will do i will add one more here you can change the color of the button different but i am using the same color for now i am using here bookmark this one would be great and same icon i will pass to the next screen okay and let me run this when i will tap on this particular field so all the widgets are available here when i will tap on this suppose cart option nothing is here so what i will do i will create ui for this also so inside this app bar title so title would be like next screen next screen okay i will have to provide widget here now it is correct center title true and again app bar color i will choose same here like this like this and in the body i will use center widget and as child i will use icon and inside icon i will be using icon data okay and also size for now size i'm using 200 okay so let me run this so when i'm tapping on this cart option cart screen is available with the cart icon it is navigating from home screen to this particular screen with icon data so that's it in this video if you find this video helpful or even little bit helpful please make sure to like the video and subscribe our channel Hope to see you next time in our next video. Bye for now.